Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Saturday, it's Saturday. So, let's see what I got for you. Ooh, I split the lovers and the stuff. All right. Saturday, November 30th, 2019. We had such an intense <clears throat> weekend energy, which can't be everyone's energy. I mean, I guess it could be, but... <clears throat> so, Two of Cups. Here's the thing. Came out reversed. I don't read these reversed. But it came out reversed. So I feel like for sure there's a connection that's just not completely connected. Okay. The death card. So there's some type of relationship that needs to go through a transformation. <clears throat> Unless you're dealing with a Scorpio Capricorn. You know me. I know it's a Scorpio. But I, I look at it as Capricorn too. So. Alright, Goosey. Goosey. This is my baby. We have the Son of Wands. Well, all three of them came out like this, so this would be first. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Temperance. Son of Wands. So, as of right now, okay, I can't see you. I'm going to do another row. Um, is that squeezed in? Damn, I don't know. You know, it's so funny when I get like this where I'm just like, it's got to be perfect. And I'm not that person <laughs> by any means. Okay. So, there's some type of connection going through a transformation. Um, there is an opportunity for love. I just don't think it's being taken. It's almost like we have a Scorpio and a Sag energy in between, okay? This is the energy between two people. It actually makes a lot of sense because the Sag energy was so potent in weekend energy, right? So it's almost like, Lucy, come on, I can't, you can't clean yourself right now in front of me. Yeah, I know I don't like it, but I love you a whole bunches. So it's like, Scorp energy, which is going through a transformation, a Sag energy. It is speaking of temperance, though. This speaks about going on a new journey, an adventure, something fun, something exciting. Normally, temperance would be about healing or reconciliations. But I don't, to me, not in this read, not right now. I mean, it can be, but I'm just not seeing it that way. I'm picking it up as more as energy. For some of you, it can be that way, though, okay? Tell me about the Two of Cups. <clears throat> Three of Cups. That can speak of reconciliation too, but it can also speak of third party. But this is my three little birds sitting on your doorstep, singing, this is the message for you. Um, I'm really picking up on a third party vibe, and I normally do not with this one. Um, I think that the, the nice thing is to, cause it's, it's, it's more like this. So look, like I, I look like this one's like the teacher, the preacher, the philosopher guiding two people through something. 
but like sorry about that guys I also feel like this is a third party it's also telling me to tell you to use your intuition Daughter of Pentacles. <clears throat> it looks like she is going through the transformation. There could be a child involved. That might not even be. I almost said one of the lovers, which is ironic because the lovers is not out, but I do remember now that I'm saying that when I split the deck, the lovers was there. I feel like this, I feel like she's going through the transition or this is a child. You're going to get a message. The eight of wands regarding emotions I don't know how or what type of emotions you're gonna get could be a new opportunity with love somebody's offering their cup tell me about temperance oh, I didn't shut my ring off guys I'm so sorry <clears throat> Temperance, please. The Empress. I got the Mother of the Cups at the bottom of the deck, but... To me, this card always speaks of roots. Looks to me like she needs to heal from a situation before she can go in a new direction. Not that the direction, tell me of the Son of Wands, not that the direction needs to be paused or delayed by any means, right? It looks like there's some type of travel. But it's like healing. It's almost like a guardian angel. And then you got the strength card. You got four major arcana. And four minor. <clears throat> Ace of Pents. So we're still in the, the same type of energy. This is just a different look. This reminds me of um, a little bit of my energy exchange, but on a different in a different insight. It's almost like you're aware of something or someone's aware of a third party because this is screaming third party to me. Tell me about the three of cups. It's not screaming, yay, celebrate, celebration or hanging out with friends or family or dating or, you know, it's just not. Tell me about the three of cups. And it's like fully aware of your scenario there's no question that you're fully aware so it's like are you still gonna message like you know what I mean the mother of pence what with the empress the mother of pence sag energy there's definitely some type of third party I think this might be someone's daughter or child It's like someone's got a child with someone or children.
It's almost like, yeah, okay, whatever it is they're about to go through is a massive transition. Some of you are still communicating. Because you got one energy over here and one completely energy over here. And in between, you have the universe connecting you two. It's a very strange reading, the way they're placing it. Because this Empress is not the same as the, the Mother of Pence over here. That's two different energies. I feel like I'm not sure shopping. I feel like this is like this would be you going through a transformation, taking yourself out of this, nurturing yourself, nurturing your children, not nurturing a third party situation. And then this might be the wife or the husband. Take a take a pick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like take a pick. This is your, you know, time with the Empress. Here, yeah, would mom go shopping, which she does every day. And it's the Nine of Cups, and it was reversed. You better not read them reversed. See, with the Mother of Swords. So two totally different energies. Someone's dealing with an air sign. Someone's dealing with an earth sign. She's very... She needs to heal through something. Or she's not going to give up on him. If that's a him. But not happy in the relationship either. That he wants to take off in a new direction. It's however it's going to go down for you guys. But this one, this one knows not to, this one's too busy taking care of themselves, their children, their life, knows the connection, but it's not really working. She's going through a massive transformation. I don't know if you want to reply to that message or not. Unless this one happens to catch this one messaging. I was extremely unhappy about the scenario. That could go down too. Tell me about the death card. Five of Wands. Right now, the first thing that came to me is drama. Too much drama. Arguing. So someone's in Scorp energy too. Tell me about temperance. Options, confusions, father, pants. Got a court couple over here. But yet at the same time, they're still over here. It's almost like they're confused and looking back. I 
I don't know what your best advice is for um, this particular scenario. I could keep going and keep going. I feel like it's it's endless. I feel like you're in a cycle. And someone needs to take themselves out of a damn cycle. Because I could literally just keep reading and reading and reading. So I don't see any major shifts, anything. Tell me about November 30th, 2019. Conclusions are within reach. And this talks about a full moon eclipse. This could be the December 26th full moon in Capricorn. Um, and this is like a, there's only two of these ones, okay? So it says, just like that door that slams shut, if you are pulled to this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about has reached its peak or is done. It's now out of your hands. What you're expecting now is for your soul to sign up and a new way to learn, for your soul has evolved. So allow events to unfold. Be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of something or someone, this is the right time. As hard as it may be forgiving someone for what they did, could be the key to resolving the situation in, in a different positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you from move on. Attune to the moon. This is which is meant for me and will not pass me by. Additional meanings. Doors were slammed shut and they will not reopen. It's time for you to go back and get on track. Forgiveness will set you free of your karma. Meditation or yoga could help. Just let the events unfold. Okay, so I'd say by the time December rolls around or now with this next eclipse, right? It's you ask me, it's something's it's over. And it's ironic because I was even like drama. You might not want to reply, you know. Um, so this one's either going to be over or this one's going to be over. And, and there's no going back. You know? It's the right time for something. Something needs to be eclipsed out of someone's life. And it's a girlfriend and a wife. Because this is a serious connection too. Two of Cups is there. So... You know, if somebody chose someone else, it is definitely time to let this go. All right? Not the easiest read, but... It's like I said, a cycle will keep going. I can keep reading and reading and reading. Someone needs to shut it down. If it's not you, then it's the other person. Let it, let it be. Just as one door slams shut, as you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking for has reached its peak or it's just done. And things are now out of your hands. What you're expecting now is what your soul actually signed up for. It's a way for you to learn so your souls can evolve. So allow events to unfold. Be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know it's the right time as hard as it may be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be the key to resolving this situation in a positive way. It doesn't make it right what they did. But it releases you to move on. So it is most definitely a third party. And it sounds like it's saying it's time to go in a new direction. It's your choice. I hope this helped you guys.